my dear students how are you all i hope all of you are fine alhamdulillah i am also fine this is golam mustafa lecturer department of mathematics milestone college today i am going to discuss general mathematics exercise 3.5 this is our revision class so this class is arranged by cq and mcq let's start here see that I have written a CQ where the question is Shakib took loan Taka 10,000 from bank for 3 years at 5% rate of profit. Okay, so by using this steam, we have to solve A, B, and C. Now, first one find the simple profit. Okay. So here see that the profit of capital that means initial installment or capital is 10,000 taka and total time 3 years and the profit rate 5 percent. So we know the simple profit formula is I equal P and R where I is interest and P equal capital and N number of time and R profit rate okay so follow this first one first one at first right here the given part so given the capital P we know capital denoted as by P capital P equal 10,000 taka 10,000 taka and time three years so time n equal three years and profit rate five percent so profit rate profit rate equal five percent we can write as percent five divided by hundred five divided hundred okay so we have to identify the simple profit so we know the formula of simple profit we know simple profit simple profit i equal p n r where i is interest p capital n number of time and r profit rate okay so using this value P that means 10,000 taka P 10,000 taka so write 10,000 N number of time 3 years and then profit rate 5 by 100 5 by 100 now by simple calculation 100 that means 3 into 5 15 15 into 100 that means 1500 taka so the simple profit is 1500 taka a complete now question b here see that the question is find the difference of simple profit and compound profit so find the difference of simple profit and compound profit so from a we already find the simple profit now we have to identify the value of compound profit the amount of compound profit we already know the formula of compound profit principal and then compound profit equal to compound profit principal minus principal then we subtract from compound profit to simple profit okay then we have to we, we can get the difference of simple profit and compound profit okay follow this now b for b remind that the simple profit is 1500 taka simple profit 1500 taka so for b okay simple a uh, compound profit we already know from a you can write from a from a simple profit simple profit equal 1500 taka now we have to identify the compound profit so at first we have to 
identify the compound profit principle compound profit profit principle or capital capital compound profit capital formula is c equal p into 1 plus r to the power n we already know this formula this is compound profit capital compound profit capital if we subtract uh, principal or capital from compound profit principal we will get compound profit so by using the value p 10000 10000 1 plus r rate of profit that means 5 by 100 to n number of time that means 3 so by simple calculation 10000 1 plus 5 by 100 we can write 0 0.05 whole cube then by using calculator let's see that the amount is 10000 bracket 1 plus 0 0.05 bracket to power cube that means amount is 10000 oh, oh mistake 10,000 uh, 1 plus 0 0.05 to the power cube. So, the amount is 11,576.25 taka. This is compound profit capital. If we subtract only capital from compound profit capital, then we will get the compound profit. So, compound profit compound profit compound profit formula is c that means compound profit capital or principal amount c minus p that means capital initial installment uh, sorry initial amount that means capital so p or principal so here we get C is 11,576.25 and the principal is 10,000 taka, 10,000 taka. So, compound profit, compound profit principal minus principal that means minus 10,000 taka that is 1,576.25 taka. This is compound profit but and from A we get simple profit 1500 taka and compound profit is this but we have to find the value of difference of simple profit and compound profit okay so now difference of now difference difference of simple profit and compound profit now difference equal compound profit 1576.25 taka 25 taka and simple profit is 1500 taka so the amount is difference amount is minus 1500 that means 76.25 taka that is that is difference 76.25 25 taka that is difference between simple profit and compound profit okay now c be complete if difference of simple profit and compound profit is 45.75 taka what is the amount of loan of shakib okay that means here see that the difference of simple profit and compound profit is 76.25 taka where the amount of loan is 10,000 taka okay but from C here the question says that if difference of simple profit and compound profit is 45.75 taka then what will be the loan okay so 
follow this the here see the difference from b remain the difference simple profit and compound profit is 76.25 taka okay so we can write as if if difference of profit difference of profit okay we have to erase this part if from b we from b we get we already got the difference of simple profit and compound profit is 76.25 taka so if difference of profit 76.25 taka so the initial loan is 10000 taka so loan is 10000 taka 10000 taka so you can write if difference of profit 1 taka loan is 10000 divided by 76.25 taka okay then if difference of profit here according to question if difference of profit is 45.75 taka so here write 45.75 taka loan is loan is 10000 into 45.75 divided by 76.25 taka this is the loan when the difference 45.75 taka so by simple calculation 10000 into 45.75 45 0.75 divide 76.25 the amount is 6000 taka 6000 taka this is answer that means if the difference of simple profit and compound profit is taka 45.75 then the loan is 6000 taka where according to question when the difference of 76.25 taka the loan was 10000 taka okay i hope everybody clear now mcq part here first question is what is the profit of taka 3000 in 3 years at the rate of simple profit 10% that means here capital amount 3000 taka and number of time 3 years and the simple profit rate is 10% taka we have to identify the profit that means interest already we know the formula of simple profit or interest i equal p n r according to question capital p 3000 taka so capital amount is 3000 taka and number of time 3 years 3 years right 3 years and profit rate is 10% so we can write as 10% is 10 by 100 so by simple calculation 339 into 10 that means 900 taka so the profit simple profit is 900 taka okay at the amount of 3000 in 3 years first one complete now second one the question is if c is compound profit of principal p at the rate of interest r percent in n years c equal we already know c is compound profit principal so the formula is c equal p into 1 plus r to the power n this is compound profit principal so in this question mention c is what so c equal to p into 1 plus r to the power n if the question says the compound profit so 
we can write compound profit formula is C minus P. But only compound profit principle that means C equal P into 1 plus R to the power N. This is formula. Okay. Next one. Next question is if a book is sold at Taka 22, there is a profit of 10 percent. What was the cost price? See that follow this. The question says the book sold Taka 22, sold 22, then there was profit 10 percent. What was the cost price? What was the cost price? So, if 10 percent profit, in 10 percent profit, if cost price 100, selling price 110, simple 10 percent profit. In 10 percent profit, see that in 10 percent profit, if cost price 100 taka, then selling price. If cost price 100 taka, then selling price 110 taka. Okay, but according to question, we have to identify cost price. So, we say if selling price 110 taka in 10 percent profit, then cost price will be is 100 taka. Cost price is 100 taka. If 1 taka, then cost price 100 divided by 110. If selling price 22 taka, 22 taka, then cost price 100 into 22 divided by 110. So, by calculation 0 0 vanish 11 into 2 that means 2 into 10 20 taka. So, 10 percent profit in the initial cost price is 20 taka. Okay? Next one. If a equal root 3 minus root 2, what is the value of a plus 1 by a? Okay. Here are given a equal root 3 minus root 2. Maximum of you uh, know the process to find the reciprocal of a. The process is 1 by a equal 1 by root 3 minus root 2. Okay. So, root 3 minus root 2, the technique is multiply both sides, numerator and denominator, root 3 plus root 2, opposite sign, root 3 plus root 2. So, you can say here a minus b into a plus b, the formula is a square minus b square. So, a square, root 3 square is 3, then root 2 square, that means 2, and in numerator, root 3 plus root 2. So, the root 3 minus 2 that means 1. If we root 3 plus root 2 divide by 1, that this is unchanged. That means root 3 plus root 2. That means 1 by a reciprocal value is root 3 plus root 2. But the, in this question, have to identify a plus 1 by a. So, a plus 1 by a, a that means root 3 minus root 2, a root 3 minus root 2 then plus 1 by a root 3 plus root 2 root 3 plus root 2. So, the exact value is uh, minus root 2 and plus root 2 vanish then root 3 and root 3 that means 2 root 3. This is the answer of last MCQ. Okay? I hope everybody clear. If you face any difficulty in this chapter or anything any time you may ask me question. I am available online all time. Okay? Allah Hafiz.